Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair, giving you hairstyle inspiration on the way we style and care that are quick and easy to achieve and take minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos. To all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend, it's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video where I am styling Kalia in yet another cornrow style. I have been on on a kick with these. They're a great way for me to take a break from doing her hair. She usually keeps them in from anywhere from three to four weeks. And since it's Valentine's Day, we decided to do a heart part to add in that love. So here are all the products that I'm using. I have my hair already separated and ready to go because I am doing feed-ins. This is the braiding hair that I am using. And when it comes to her feed-ins, so her, Kalia's hair is already thick and beautiful i don't really start adding in the hair until the, like i'm towards the end of the corn roll and i do this because i want it more for the length and adding in that braiding hair helps with the longevity of her braids rather than keeping her natural hair her natural hair frizzes up a whole lot quicker than the braiding hair does so the braiding hair kind of helps with holding it all together and with that longevity so going in with that magic fingers braiding gel i have been using this braiding gel for several months now i've used it on myself and on kalia and since this is the second time doing corn rolls this is the second one in the row for kalia i have definitely been coming in clutch with the magic fingers braiding gel it has a beautiful shine it helps keep the braids nice and clean as well as this beautiful clean sh sharp parts because we love clean parts here now as you can see here i am adding in that, that braiding hair that i had already prepped earlier this definitely saves time when it comes to braiding that way you don't have to worry about separating the hair as you're braiding you just grab and go and i add in using my right hand because uh, i'm a right-handed I'm, I'm right handed and it's just easier for me. So I'm braiding her hair regularly. This is her natural hair. And once I get to about the base of the corn roll, that's when I go in with the braiding hair and start feeding it into her corn roll. And again, this is to add longevity to her hair and just a little bit of length. She probably maybe got five inches off of the braiding hair because her hair is already super long and i get a lot of people just like why do you even bother and i promise you there is a reason it's just, it just really helps with her braids lasting longer when i add in that braiding hair So these are those feed-in lemonade braids. These are nothing new. They've been around for years now, um, but I just haven't done them in a while. So what it is is I'm taking the braids from one side of her head and they just kind of swoop around the back and come around off to the side. So all the braids are pretty much gonna be off to the side, except for that heart part that we just did. And I did that first to so go ahead and get it out of the way. Now, usually these braids can be really, really skinny, but I did not want to do that because trying to take down really skinny braids, uh, no thing. Thank you. So mine's are, I guess, I consider those to be medium. I consider this to be like a medium thickness of the braid. And I don't want to make them too thick because again, Kalia's hair is just so thick that it can be difficult trying to grip all that hair all at once. And I even made my heart part a little too big. I don't know why. I really didn't intend to make it that big, but once I had already braided the first half, I wasn't about to undo it. I just kept it moving. So here I am adding in that feeding hair again. And again, I use my right hand to add in my braiding hair and it's just easier for me. And all I do is just add it to my index finger and thumb that's holding that piece of hair and then uh, just take the other side and uh, add it to the other section of hair. It's really simple. Um, it's not difficult at all. I have so many videos on how I do feed in braids. If you want to check those out, I'll definitely tag those for you guys. So I finished the first section and now I'm moving in with the second one. I will say that having her hair hair uh, parted already in like five sections definitely helped with what direction I was going to put these braids in because I didn't want them to all be in the same direction I kind of wanted to change it up just a little bit to add a little bit of pizzazz to it I, I don't know if that's a word but you know that that's what I was going for something a little different but still the same you know Thank you. 
So this is just performing the same thing over and over again. So we're gonna skip ahead. So this is what I have after doing two of the main sections. Now I have these two left down at the bottom, that big one in the middle, and then of course the one in the very back. And uh, these are just, all, again, all going in the same direction. So all her braids are gonna lay on her left shoulder. And it's just gonna look so cute. I was debating whether or not I want to add beads, but beads can just be a little too much, especially for active children. And my child does karate and she she's worn beads before and she's always come home and be like, mommy, somebody kicked the beads out of my head or I was trying to do something and my beads all fell out or they got in the way, they slapped me in the face. So. I, I love adding them for the decoration. So if you definitely want to do that, you can. But for my active teenager, it just does not, it doesn't, it's not practical for her. So here I am. I am now on my very last braid, amen. And we are gonna gel this down real quick, smooth that gel in. And as you can see, the gel immediately adds shine. It gives it a great hold and it doesn't flake, okay? We love gels that do not fake, cause flake, because we just we don't have time for it, okay? I don't usually revisit Kalia's protective styles once I've already put them in. So this is a one and done for me. One and done. I might come back at the two week mark just to refresh her braid because they get a little frizzy so I'll add in you know a couple of moves might you know help out a couple of braids so here I load it down for you guys so y'all can see me adding in that braid in here just so you can get a close-up of what I'm doing here because me trying to explain it with words just seems to confuse people even more so I just like to slow it down and zoom it in and if y'all haven't noticed I've been using a new camera okay this new year okay because we are all about quality this year all right I'm slowing it down on the production and we're gonna focus on the quality all right so you might not get as many tutorials this year but the quality that 4k is gonna be a one all right so if you see my camera kind of going in and out of focus it's because I'm playing around with the settings trying to figure it out um so you know just bear with me but you 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 do you see it do you see it amen okay so now that everything has been said and done it's now time to go in with that suave foam okay this is a two dollar foam that i pick up at a walmart it is nothing great and grand now the magic fingers gel that i use it also has their own foam by that brand but i can never find it so it must be good because when i get my hands on it i plan on giving it a real honest review but for me this swab does just what i needed to do it ain't doing nothing extra she ain't coming to show out she gonna do what she needs to she gonna disappear and we good so i'm going in with my blow dryer to kind of help lay all this down and this is gonna give it this nice clean look. Now don't get mad at me because again, I'm using a new camera. So I totally forgot to record the ending, but here is two weeks later. I figured I'll go ahead and show you guys what she working with after two weeks. And it is a little frizzy, but it's not too bad. I did redo her heart part. So that's why that one looks like fresh as hell. I'm adding in some oil to her scalp because again, I don't revisit. So this is the first time her scalp is getting any kind of tender love and care out of me. I'm going back in with my Walmart Suave um, a foam laying that all over lathering her right on up and then i'm gonna add that do rag on so it holds everything in place and this time i'm gonna have her sit under a hooded dryer because i ain't feel like holding the blow dryer for 15 minutes i'm gonna let her go watch her little youtube or whatever she be watching on tiktok give her a few minutes to get up out my face and when she come back i'm gonna show y'all the finished result this time i apologize i didn't show you originally but this is what she's looking like after two weeks in me refreshing it and it looks so good okay now she'll probably wear this style for another two weeks because I'm still not prepared to deal with her hair, okay? And then plus she's a teenager. So I just feel like a lot of the styles that I used to do on her, she's just kind of grown out of and she's kind of like, you know, feeling her way into who she wants to be. And you know, she's she, she trying to make her own little way. You know, I'm trying to give her that space. So right now I, it's still in braids. It is still in braids. I should probably wear them to the end of the month. And we'll come back with another tutorial, <laughs> hopefully on Kalia. Thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial. We greatly appreciate having y'all here. We'll see y'all on another one. Be blessed and be safe.